We're Seth and Natalia. We bought Windrose, a 38-foot 1977 custom Ingrid Atkins sailboat in Hawaii. We're working hard to restore her in preparation to untie from this island and sail the world. We wanted less things and we wanted more memories. So we traded traditional living in order to live tiny, untethered, and on top of this beautiful ocean. We are excited to share our journey with you so you can see our world alongside us. All right, a lot of you guys like the induction stovetop idea so we don't have to use our propane, but then a lot of you thought that mini tiny pan that I got probably a month or so ago in one of our videos, it was super tiny. You guys thought that was super cute. And what I got, and I wanted to show you, is a mini waffle cooker from the brand Dash. It's $10, and they say you can make eggs in it as well as obviously waffles, but they even said that you can pop like a biscuit or cinnamon roll in here. So I'm gonna make some eggs for breakfast and I think it's gonna be so cute. All right, so here is our little cooker. I've just greased it with a little bit of like uh, olive oil spray. We're gonna see if we can make a little biscuit. So I'm thinking it's a win. Here are my little egg biscuits. I did watch a video on YouTube of how to clean your dash. Pardon me. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> I did watch a video on YouTube of someone teaching you how to clean this because obviously you want to make sure it's easy to use on the boat and easy to clean. And when you're done, it's hot, you leave it open, you just put a wet paper towel, you obviously unplug it, wet paper towel in it, close it and it steams it, gets any of like the extra gunk off and kind of steams it with obviously the water from the paper towel. And you just wipe it clean and you're good. So if you have access to electricity on your boat, this is probably a really good way to make eggs without having to get out a pan and oil the pan and turn on the propane and do the whole thing. Cheers. It's so windy. It's so windy. All right, so I got a package in the mail and the only company that would ship this to me was eBay. So I placed an order, got this cleaner in the mail and I could not be more excited. I have tracked the stupid cleaner every day for like the past week and a half and it has arrived and I am very excited. <laughs> So I've been beyond excited to clean the brass in our boat, but it's so corroded and the vinegar and the ketchup work, but it only goes so far and you can't really get it fully, fully clean in the nooks and crannies. So I found this off of an infomercial, which is probably the first red flag, but it's called Flitz Metal Pre-Clean and it works on, quickly removes brake dust, chlor magnesium chloride, calcium rust, lime, corrosion, scum, salt water buildup, hard water stains, tarnish, grease, and oil. So we're gonna give this a go. I'm very excited. All right, so I'm here. This is the infomercial that suckered me in a couple weeks ago. I guess it's taken off that top layer. It's gonna cut time at least by two thirds. All right, you heard it there, folks. This is gonna cut time by at least two thirds. And then he said it can get even the biggest things off that are a bugger. <laughs> so here we go. Extra strength, metal pre-clean, but also eco-safe. Basically, spray full strength onto surface. Do not let sit on surface. Rinse immediately with clean water. I believe. I believe Rob. <laughs> okay, let's go. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Are you seeing this? <laughs> Are you getting this? Oh boy. Oh boy. That's good. Look at that. <laughs> I feel like I'm part of the infomercial and wipe. <laughs> this is unbelievable. <laughs> I'm so excited. It's like, that was just one pass of the cleaner. All right, I'm so excited. This is awesome. I am now on board with Rob or whoever posted that video. I'm so pumped. This is so great. This is insane. This, now I'm afraid to touch it. That had to be like pure acid. 
That's insane. I just sprayed it for one second. Did you just taste it? No. Okay. I just sprayed it for one second, buffed it in with the sponge, and just like literal magic happened. Like, Merry Christmas. Woo! <laughs> I'm jazzed up and ready to go. All right, we're gonna do more of it. All right, this is insane. You can see this is really nice and clean. And then look at this. That's so dark. The difference is insane. Look at that. That's insane. Like, what? Remember last week when I did this with uh, ketchup? Hunts. <laughs> We got an upgrade. Oops. All right, so we're using this corrosion protection metal plastic and fiberglass polish from the same brand of the cleaner. So I haven't done this yet with the cleaner, but that's insane. Like, look at that difference of the oh, cleaner this is... and, or like what we polished in the bracket. Like, this is still corroded, and I still have yet, I still have to do that. But we just wanted to give this a try. That's amazing. It's so shiny. Okay, so this was prior to the pre-clean and this is, now I still have to do this, but this is post pre-clean and post polish. You can literally see our camera, you can see my hand. Woohoo! That's how clear it is! Crystal polished! You can see the camera and myself. Hi! <laughs> That's good, That's what you know, it's good. I still gotta hit this. Let's get it! All right, so I have been cleaning with the pre-clean and polishing with polish, and it has been amazing. The polish has really changed. Honestly, the metal, the pre-clean was great, and I was like, wow, this is amazing. But then when the polish, it takes it to like a whole other level. So I'm gonna show you because I actually have right now four windows in like the living area, and one is not touched. One was just the ketchup from a previous video that lightened it a bit. One is the pre-clean, no polish, and one is pre-cleaned and polished. So I'm gonna show you all the steps because you can kind of see each of the four steps. All right, so this is the window with nothing. So just black, and you can even see some of the corrosion. Just really bad shape. So this has had nothing done with it yet. All right, so this is the window with the ketchup. So you can see it's, see it's kind of like a tigery print. It lightened up some areas, but it really, for just being ketchup, it, it worked, but not crazy. It's still pretty dark and black. Okay, so here is the third step. So this is cleaned with pre-clean. So you can see it's light. There's still some black, but for the most part, all of the black has come off. But it, And it, it is shiny. It's not 100% dull, but there's still some marks on it. It's still pretty nice, but it, it's getting there. All right, and this one is the polished one. You can see how shiny it is. Up close, there's no black. It is just so much more clean. All right, so this is another example of how good the pre-clean works. So this is the original, so I left this stripe. And then this is what I just pre-cleaned. So you can totally see the difference. But then when you come over here, this is how shiny it is when it's polished. So you have pre, pre-clean, pre-clean, polish so it's really really helping and it's just so bright and beautiful thank you so much for watching this video if you haven't already subscribed make sure you subscribe so that you can catch our video next week see ya